cage. So too is Tevis Jones and here's Tim Tialdo. Our first fighter tonight fighting out of the blue corner comes to us with a fighting record of eight wins and three losses. He is 29 years old, fighting out of Apex MMA with the black trunks. This is Estevez, the Quiet Riot, Jones! His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, comes to us with a fighting record of 11 wins and four losses. He is 28 years old, fighting with the Black Zillions. This is Anthony Rumble Johnson! You guys heard your instructions earlier. Obey my commands, protect yourself all the time. I expect a clean fight, no fouls, understand? Touch them up now, go back to your corner. We are ready for the main event of Titan Fighting Championship number 24, set for three five minute rounds at 205 pounds. Anthony Rumble Johnson comes in the favorite, minus 1100. Estevis Jones at plus 650. Go. You're live on Access TV, Michael Chavello, Pat Militich with you. Rumble in the white. Jones trying to stay mobile on the outside here. Rumble looking to walk him down. Goes for a high left round kick. Inside leg kick from Rumble. Front kick sends him back against the cage. Nicely done. Off the back leg. Nice. Outside leg kick from Estevez Jones. Then goes upstairs. Good power by Johnson early on here. Good technique with those kicks. Downstairs and upstairs. And a rib kick from Johnson. And a head kick from Johnson. Estevez shrugs it off. The kicking arsenal of Rumble goes for the headache maker again. Estevez tries to slug it out. Double leg puts him through the canvas. Nicely done from Rumble. House on fire. Comes out throwing kicks like jabs and then hits the nice double leg, powers him up and puts him on his back. Impressive so far from Anthony Rumble Johnson. Inside close guard of Estevez Jones. Estevez Jones want no part of separation with this guy on top of it. Doesn't want to feel those bombs coming down. Left hand from Rumble Johnson. Opens up the guard now, does a Stevis Jones. Closes it again, a little higher on the back here of Johnson. Rumble trying to yank out that right hand. But he goes with the left instead. Two shots to the hairline. And Estevis immediately pulls the head down to control the posture. Stevis Jones being smart, tying him up as much as possible, slowing him down. Nice elbow to the top lip there from Rumble. Good adjustment to go from the hammer fist to the elbow because he knew he didn't have the space for another hammer fist. Dropping elbows again to the jawline there from Rumble Johnson. Three minutes, five remains. First round of three. Good start for Rumble. Gets the left hand free once more. Estevis closes the guard. Rumble now controlling inside, inside ties, trying to find that space. Coming over the top with the right arm, probably. Nice short popping elbows here from Rumble Johnson. Oh, big elbow, and there's a hematoma over the left eye already here of Estevis Jones. You know, Estevis Jones had that right arm trapped of Johnson. Looked like he was maybe considering for a brief moment to go for an arm bar, but not wanting to risk getting his Good face caved in. 2.15 remains in the first. It's been all Anthony Rumble Johnson. He's working the elbows nicely from inside the guard of Estevis Jones. Passes to half guard now. Trying to get that right arm under the head. There it is. Pass fully go to side control, perhaps, or will he go and mount Estevis Jones here? Rumble Johnson will be content to stay inside a half guard. He goes for the mount indeed. No. Still inside half guard. Wanted to trap that arm of Estevis, but uh, you really want to be cross sides when you trap that. Work to improve. Referee telling both men work to improve your positions as Rumble Johnson looks to drop the elbows again here. Booze coming from the crowd. They want to see more of a slugfest, but at the moment, Johnson doing everything correct. Gets the left hand free again here, does Rumble. 
looking for the right elbow. Back to his feet. Rumble Johnson straight back on top of him. One minute remaining in the first round. Can Rumble find a way to finish it? Yeah, he's uh, moved up the mount now. And see if he can posture up. As Stephens Jones holding on for dear life here. Wanting to kill some time. Stevis just closing down. And posturing here of Rumble. With 40 seconds remaining in the round, as Tevis maybe wants to try and grind it out and get back to a standing position in the second stanza. Rumble pounding away to the body. Johnson's frustrated because uh, Jones is holding on to it, not giving him a chance to move. Still inside half guard, postures up now, drops the elbows, here comes Rumble! Estevez Jones in trouble, gives his back. Can Rumble finish in the final seconds of the opener? Back of the Can he hold on, Estevez Jones? And he does, he holds on, or is it over? Very slow to get to his feet here, Estevez Jones. Now he's gonna go on, it's not over indeed. It was close though, give it another five seconds, Pat, it would have been yes. finished. Johnson, at least in this fight, looks strong enough for 205. Performing well. Here he comes with the punches and the kicks. Barely skimming that kick over a step as his head. Locking up the double. Turning around and dropping him like a sack of potatoes. And then going to work on the ground. Doing a good job controlling the Stevis the entire time. Dropping nice elbows on him. Causing some damage. and Really muscled him around the entire time. one-way traffic to Anthony Rumble Johnson. Impressive so far against Estevis Jones. We are ready to rock and roll. Second round is set for three. Estevis Jones has got to find a way to keep the fight on its feet because on the ground he's about as useless as a piece of black chalk. Big wild left hand to open up the round from Jones. Inside the leg kick from Rumble and with power that femoral artery. High right round, spinning hook kick there from Estevis Jones. Rumble just looks scary. Sharp, powerful. Double leg, drives him down, nicely done. Showing his wrestling prowess. Got that arm trapped on the other side. Here comes the violence again from Rumble. It could be over shortly. Estevis Jones is hating life here. Only this has one arm free. There's Rumble unleashing the aggression. He's done it. Right? Rumble Johnson pounds out Estevis Jones early in the second round. I think we got the full strength of Anthony Johnson. How scary is Rumble at 205? Referee stops contest, strikes, winner by TKO, red corner. Have a look at the takedown here. Double leg from Rumble. Puts him on his backside. The beginning of the end. Estevis once again, as Susan went to ground, had no idea. And if he had any ideas, they just got punched out of his head right here. Boom. Bang. Just kept going with that left hand. And referee waved it off and saved poor Estevis Jones from any more punishment. Impressive indeed from Rumble Johnson at 205. One very, very scary man. Tim Tialdo about to make it all official here. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has ended at 51 seconds of the second round. Your winner by TKO due to the ref stopping the fight due to strikes out of the red corner. Anthony Rumble Johnson! Rumble has done it in impressive fashion. I'd actually like to see who would like to fight at 205. Pat Milicic is in there with Rumble. Over to you, Pat. All right, I'm here with Anthony Johnson. Anthony, nice, nice performance tonight, bud. 
Uh, you said the last time you fought when I talked to you in the cage, I asked you if you were big enough to deal with the 205ers. You simply said yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you felt tonight. I felt great. Um, you know, I still got to get used to it. You know, I can't just say, oh, uh, I feel comfortable already. But this is a fight. You got to do what you got to do to win. Right now, do you feel that you're going to have at 205 a speed advantage over some of the guys that might be coming down from a heavier weight? Yeah, and no, because there are some guys in 205 that are slow, but there are guys at 205 that are yep. fast, a.k.a. Machida. You know, but uh, other than that, I think I'm all right. How is the weight cut? I mean, naturally, what are you walking around at, and how, how much easier was it for you this time making 205, brother? I was walking around 225 for this, and uh, they of weigh-ins only had two pounds to go, and I never have two pounds to go. They of weigh-in. I usually have, like, six. So uh, I felt great. I did, I did awesome. Well, it definitely showed mentally in the way you, you uh, performed and the way you, you talked to us anyway. Um, it showed that you were very calm about the fight. So what's next for you at 205? Who do you want? Whoever. I, uh, I think next I have uh, Jake Roshaw. You know, he's a great wrestler, and uh, fight him in Oklahoma in my next fight. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. Jake, let's put on a good show, baby. I like that fight. Anthony Johnson. I like that fight, too. Anthony Rumble Johnson looks good at 205 so far. But as he said, just the very first step to hopefully what will be a brand new career for him in the cage. Capping off what has been a fantastic night here at Titan Fighting Championship number 24. With Anthony Rumble Johnson going 12 and 4. First fight at 205. Estevis Jones certainly can't be considered a top flight 205er. He's also first time at 205, but it was a solid first up fight for Johnson at 205. And as he said, hopefully big things to come. Rocholt fight would be a good matchup for him. I like the way that Johnson is looking to groom himself at this new weight. What a night it's been 